Hey everyone, John Lorden here with a special Searchlight update on the case of Amber Evans. I wish it was better news. Um, unfortunately, it's not. But let's go ahead and jump over to the Twitter account of the Columbus, Ohio Police. And this is a press release that they kicked out on March 23rd, 2019. Columbus Police Recover Body from the Scioto River. On Saturday, March 23, 2019, members from the Columbus Police Special Victims Bureau were working in conjunction with the Columbus Police Dive Team on the Scioto River in the area of the Whittier Street Peninsula. Through the efforts of the detectives and dive team members, a body was recovered from the water. The Franklin County Coroner's Office was called in to work with the detectives. Additional information will be available pending the outcome of the coroner's investigation and identification. If we jump over to an article at dispatch.com, uh, posted the following day and then updated a day after that, the body has been identified as community activist Amber Evans. Really unfortunate. Um, it just really gets me when we have people that work so hard to help others and they're so selfless and we lose them. I just, I think that we need more people like that in this world. So um, really, really sad to hear about this. Evans, 28, reportedly had a dispute with her boyfriend the afternoon of her disappearance and her vehicle was found in the Scioto Mile area downtown. Police found her phone in another part of the Scioto Mile. Police have said since the beginning of the investigation that there were no known domestic violence issues in Evans's relationship, and there was no reason to suspect foul play. Now, if you guys saw the video that I put out on this case, uh, it does seem like there was the possibility that her boyfriend was breaking up with her, so she might have been pretty severely emotionally distressed. This was a relationship that had gone on for years at this point. Tanya Fisher, Evans' mother, posted a message on her Facebook page on Sunday asking reporters to, quote, give her a moment. I just lost my firstborn child, Fisher said. Fisher said the family plans to have a memorial vigil at 5.30 p.m. Wednesday at the Scioto Mile. And I've been looking for any other information on this case. Um, everyone is basically just quoting the police's position previously, that it doesn't seem like this is a foul play uh, scenario. And at this point, there's really nothing that I can add to that. If you want to look more for theories or analysis on what was happening with this case, I'll have a link in the description box below to the original searchlight. Uh, we will keep looking for new developments in this case in case anything changes. But as of right now, it seems like everyone is still operating on the thought that um, this is a tragedy that is not related to a foul play situation. But if that changes, I'll certainly let you know. My heart goes out to not only Amber's family, um, but her friends, the people she was working with. Uh, she seemed to be very well liked and highly respected. And I know that there's a lot of people that are hurting from this. And I really feel for all of you. And I think I could put my, myself in that group with you guys. Um, never feels good to see a case go this way. But in learning about Amber, I feel like I learned about a pretty amazing person and I'm really kind of, it, it's really sad to me that uh, we, we don't have her with us anymore. So thank you guys for supporting the channel. Thank you for being there. Thank you for caring about these cases like I do. I have another episode with a brand new case coming up on the channel today. Hope you'll check that out. Maybe there's another family that we can help with their missing loved one. Take care.